My name is Shorty. Welcome to my barn. I'd like to extend an invitation to join myself, maybe some guests along the way, for some real life reviews, opinions, rides, and some adventure. I'm not paid or sponsored by anybody. Uh, therefore, my opinions are that of my own. Myself, my buddies, we're just a bunch of ordinary guys on a budget trying to scrape some money together to buy the things, to do the stuff. So uh, without any further ado, I'd like to take you along for that ride. So let's talk about this latest purchase. This right here is a game changer. This is my 2023 Kawasaki KLR 650 S model. What does the S stand for? Well, you know it. Short. Always wanted the dirt ride. My feet were always a mile off the ground. Used milk crates, whatever I could find to stand on. And, uh, well, Kawasaki got it right this year. I have a... Uh, 28 inseam on a good day. Um, I'm five foot one, maybe, and I can saddle this Kawasaki perfectly fine. Um, always wanted an adventure bike. Was very intrigued about the KLRs for a lot of years, and uh, now I get to give it a shot. Not only do I get to give it a shot, but the greatest thing is all the aftermarket parts for the regular. 50s. That means I have a chance at turning this into an adventure bike. Just a friendly reminder, if you like what you've seen so far, please remember to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and continue to follow us for more product reviews, tips, tricks, trips, and adventures. Until we meet on the road or the trail, have a great day. So you think 2023 might be the year for you to buy a KLR. Well, here's some real numbers and some things I learned at the dealership. Number one, the MSRP on both the KLR and the KLRS, not the adventure model, is $6,899. This month, Kawasaki was offering a $1,000 instant rebate bringing that number down to $5,899. There is a caveat to that. Allegedly, the dealers in my region, which is, I live in the upstate New York area, uh, northern Adirondacks, close to the Canadian border. Um, so we reached out as far as Vermont, New Hampshire, when we were looking for these bikes. Um, allegedly, the dealers are being told from Kawasaki that they need to impose anywhere between a $740 and $935 freight and dealer setup. In addition to that, there is a $99 documentation fee. So the real out-the-door price on a KLR or a KLRS right now in the northern New York, Vermont area is $6,933 plus tax and registration. Uh, Kawasaki is now offering an extended warranty. You can extend your warranty out for an additional four years, bringing it out to a five-year warranty. While I was at the register considering it, the one thing came to mind, and I figure you KLR guys will appreciate this, I did ask if the doohickey and the thermobob were covered in that, and I was given a definitive yes. Instead of cracking the case after a year, I'm going to run it. I'm going to put as many miles as I possibly can on this bike in the next five years. And if and when it breaks, I will be bringing it back to the dealer. And everybody might find that in a little bit interesting. And if you are considering getting a KLR this year, those are a few things to consider when you get up to the register. Okay, so here's the skinny. About a month ago, went motorcycle shopping. Went to several different dealerships. Tried out seven, several different bikes, all in the adventure type series, trying to find one that would fit me, trying to find one that I would feel comfortable on. The end of the day, we ended up over at the Kawasaki dealership. Walking around, and as usual, I gravitated right for the KLRs. Something different happened this time. I saw the S. When I asked the salesperson what it was, 
I got a little bit of a snicker, and I got told it was a short one. So threw my leg over it, and something happened. My feet touched the floor. Rays from the heaven shined down upon me. I think I fell in love. Thought about it for about a week, and I found myself back down in the dealership, knowing full well it would be mine. So I made my purchase. I put the bike in a trailer, brought it back to my house, backed it into the garage, and here it's been sitting with zero miles. So that's why I am unable to give you an actual short person review. What I can do is tell you this. I plan on making this my true adventure bike. I've never had the feeling of being able to go into a dealership and getting an adventure bike with all the farkle on it, with the bags, with the bars, with all the stuff to do the things. I've never had that feeling. I want that feeling. So I invite you to come along on this journey. We're going to do some unboxings of the parts that I bought. We're going to do some installation. We'll find out what works, what doesn't work. When it's complete, I'm going to roll it out that door, and I will give you an actual short person review on what I think of the KRS. What stuff did I buy? What do I plan on doing to this? Oh, stand by. Okay, so here we are. Let's talk about it. This is all the stuff that I've collected over the last month that I believe will turn this KLR short into an on-road, off-road adventure bike. Invested in a pannier rack. This is the quick release rack. Um, I also got the Tusk panniers. I bought the larges. Um, I know what it's like to travel around the country and not have a place to lock your stuff up. I also like the lids that come off but we'll be doing a full review on those down the road. That goes for everything here. We're going to do an open box and reveal on everything. We're going to count parts. We're going to see if we have all the nuts and bolts, and then we're going to install this stuff. So please take a moment, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, follow the channel. We have a windshield relocation kit. I know. What is a guy that's five foot one? Me with a relocation kit? I don't know. Weak moment. Here's the thing, though. My best bud, Jake, just bought the full-size KLR. He's a formidable man. He's going to need that windshield kit, so I got him covered. I got a rear fender eliminator. We're going to tuck that license plate right up, get rid of that fender that hangs way off the back of the bike. Picked up uh, extra long shift lever so that I can get my Chippewa boots underneath. Drop the gears down, raise them up. Along with that, I picked up a couple of the low-profile oil plugs. Um, if you've ever been underneath a KLR or you have a KLR, you know the oil plug that comes with this bike sticks down almost below the frame. Um, it's a problem waiting to happen, especially if you go off-road. I also bought the Enduro Engineering skid plate. Um, if you have not seen the plate, if you have not seen a review on the plate, Please, if nothing else, come back for the review on that plate because it is something else. Um, it's almost a piece of art. We picked up the relay. The relay. Everybody knows the relay that hangs around the KLR groups. Um, if you crack the fairing open on the right-hand side, there's a slot for a relay. Once you plug that relay in, you now have access to all the electronics that they put in the bike for the higher-grade bikes, such as the Adventure. So it makes adding on like the 12 volt plug that's in one of these boxes, that'll be a piece of cake. That'll be a plug and plug. We got some upper and lower crash bars. Um, I like the looks of the Tusk. I like the way that they wrap around. So that's what I went with. Once again, we'll be doing a review. So stay tuned. I picked up some really cool LEDs and some brackets. Um, we have a handgunner backpack over here. Uh, definite cool factor. That was given to me by one of my kids a couple of years ago. I was waiting for it, the right opportunity to use it, and I will be putting that on the back of this bike. Um, I really like the Tusk tank bag, so I did pop for it. Um, I did not open the box yet, so we'll do that together also. Um, take a good look at that, see if it's everything I wanted. I bought the cheapest phone holder that Amazon had to offer for this. Um, we'll see how well she holds up. 
we'll run her into the ground and see what happens. Once again, um, I invite you to follow us. I invite you to join us as we put all of this stuff on, do some open boxes, um, see how easy this stuff goes on, see how hard it goes on, and uh, see how the initial test drive comes out. So until then, please like the channel, subscribe to the channel, follow us, come on some of our adventures with us, and hopefully we'll see you on the road or on the trail. Thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us.